Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited for the video that I'm gonna do because I've never done something like this before and I've seen a couple of other people do it. Mainly I have seen books with Leo do a couple of these videos and I really enjoy them and I wanted to try my own hand at it. So today I'm going to be doing a pick my next read with me slash try a chapter type of video. I have a bunch of fantasy books here that I'm going to peruse, pick a couple to try a chapter from, and we're gonna see which one I want to read next because I may or may not be in the middle of like five books at the moment, but I'm always kind of in the middle of five books, so there really isn't like an optimal time to film it, so we're just gonna do it now. Typically in these videos I see people group the books by like genre or like length, popularity, that kind of thing. So I've decided to go for fantasy. I don't know if I'm gonna pick like YA fantasy, adult fantasy, or like a mixture of both. I'm not sure yet, but we will see what I end up thinking of the books that I have in this stack. So to start out with this stack, I actually went to the library a couple of days ago because I was picking up like this graphic novel series that I've been reading. I was looking around their YA section and they had a lot of good first books in series and obviously it is not difficult but like harder to find first books in series because they would be more checked out than like later books in series so I found these three and I had to use them for this video I thought it sounded fun I've heard of these books I've wanted to try them so we'll see first up here we have Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy I've seen this one on like Instagram and stuff but I've never looked into the synopsis of it. I've read like the first couple of paragraphs here. Like I'm sold. This is absolutely going to be one of the ones that I choose for this video. Like out of any of them, I have to try this one. Like just listen to this. Elise has been prepared since birth to become the matriarch of the Bone Criers, but first she must complete her rite of passage and kill the boy she's also destined to love. Come on now. Like you know, you know, we got to this one's absolutely a yes. Next up, I have Carnival by Stephanie Garber. I've heard so many things. It's very popular, but I've never looked into it until I, I just saw it. It spoke to me. I was like, all right, now's the time for me to check this out and see what's up. I know it's about a carnival, like a magical carnival. That's all I know, though. So it is in the running. I also have Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which is like an Alice in Wonderland retelling, I think. This one's been on my radar for a long time, so when I saw it... I had to pick it up. Next up we have A Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I know this one is about a library. Also, I own this one physically, so I do need to read it at some point. So, might as well give it a try. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Next up we have Strange the Dreamer, which I feel like whenever I talk about this, I'm literally just like, oh, this is the book with blue people, but it is. That's literally all I know about it. I could read the back of it, I guess, but not sure if I'm really feeling it right now, but it is in the running. We'll have to see. Then we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. I do really want to read this book because it has been released recently and I would like to get to it soon, but I also kind of am leaning towards making this like YA fantasy only. And I think this is adult fantasy. So as much as I do want to read this, I don't know. We'll set it over there for now. Another one that I think I'm definitely going to be choosing is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I've been wanting to start this book for the longest time, but I've been like in the middle of a couple of series and now I'm kind of like not anymore. So I think now might be the time. It's literally everywhere. I cannot go on Instagram without seeing it and I have it. Plus, if I choose this one, it's very low commitment because it's only like 300 pages, which I'm also into. There's like a Prince of Hell. I think I just talked myself into it. This is the second one we're going to be reading a chapter out of. Um, I don't know why I put this one on here, but I guess it was an option. Maybe I thought it would speak to me at the time. Um, but now it seems like a terrible idea. And that is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. I do need to continue the Stormlight Archive um, because I love The Way of Kings and I really want to read the second book. But I feel like a 1200 page book in the middle of the semester is a recipe for me being in a reading slump. This is Definitely a no. It was funny that I thought I would choose this one though. So I have these five. Can you see these? Okay, well Carwell just fell over, so I, oh no. So I think that is a sign that I don't want to start this right now. I do want to read it at some point though. 
I don't know if I'm really feeling a magical circus right now because I am kind of in the middle of the night circus at the moment as well. So maybe this one's not a good idea. We're gonna, we're gonna put that one on the back burner for now. I think I'm gonna choose for sure Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Just because I'm very intrigued by the concept of this book and I've heard good things about it. So I think I might go for this one. There's my number three choice. I have Sorcery of Thorns and Strange the Dreamer. I literally don't know which one of these I want though. I think I need an outside source here. I'm gonna go ask someone. Fritz, come here. Which one? All right, that's what I'm gonna call good enough. Sorcery of Thorns it is. We must all say thank you to Fritz for her invaluable input. She does not like being held. So, I'm sorry, Fritz. Oh, you wanna leave? Yeah? All right, bye, thanks. Thanks to Fritz, we uh, now have our four books that we're going to be reading. We have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco, Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy, and Heartless by Marissa Meyer. So we're gonna start with this one just because I feel like I'm not gonna end up choosing this one. Not that I won't like it, but I just have a feeling that I'm gonna choose this one. I don't know though. We shall see. of Sorcery of Thorns. It was a nice short chapter, so. I am very intrigued by the beginning of this book because it seems as though our main character is training to become like a warden. They're an apprentice right now. And the thing she's doing in this first chapter is going to visit this book, or I guess it's a grimoire that is like sentient because it has been bound with like human eyes or something. I don't exactly know how it works and the book was like speaking to her in this creepy voice and she has this feeling that it will not be the last time she has to deal with this book and it's very i i like it so far i would definitely love to continue reading this book i just don't know if any of the others i'm going to be more intrigued by so it was a strong start i also really love the writing i feel like it's written very well i felt very transported into this world, a very dark and like gloomy night, going into the depths of this library to visit this creepy book. So I was not mad about the beginning of this book and let's move on to book number two. I don't know what I'm going to read next though. Maybe I'll read Heartless next. I don't know if I'm gonna read the first chapter today. I'll probably see you tomorrow and read the rest of these chapters. So I'm excited. to chapter two, which is page like nine. I do wonder if this is really giving the books a fair shot, but I have really enjoyed <laughs> the first nine pages of this book. I just, I love the movie Alice in Wonderland, specifically the Disney one. I'm not a super big fan of the Tim Burton one, but that's kind of just like personal preference. I've never actually read the story by Lewis Carroll, which maybe I should if I'm gonna like read a retelling, but like I was still enjoying it. The, she's had like a vision of some guy in one of her dreams and she feels like he had something that belonged to her. He's dressed in all black, sounds angsty. Um, maybe, <laughs> I have no idea. I liked it so far. She was like baking lemon tarts, which is making me hungry. The Cheshire cat, I think, is there. I mean, she just called him Cheshire, but I would assume he's still in cat form. I don't know. I can't make like any assumptions really based on the first eight pages and it's kind of fun that way. So this is definitely a maybe. Out of the two that I've read so far, this one is the one that I would choose because I really enjoyed it. So um, we will see what happens when I read 
the other two. I read there was like this really short epilogue oh my god I keep calling it an epilogue a prologue kind of thing here and then I also read the first chapter which is from somebody who is not what I was assuming the main romance was between I haven't read anything from the perspective of like who I think this is I think her name's Elise like the prologue was about him and then the first chapter was about this girl named Sabine and she was like with Elise and they were going to kill this shark which she seems like a crazy bitch because she was like taking on this giant ass shark just with a spear and she was like about to die and her friend like saved her and she was like what if i went back to try and kill it again and she did like i don't <laughs> different breed i guess so what i've really gotten from the first chapter is that elise and sabine are bone criers and bone criers can like kill animals and then when they take and wear the bones of the animals that they killed, they like adopt a power that kind of that animal had. So like Sabine killed like a fire salamander, I think. So she could like move quickly through water or something. I don't know anything about salamanders, honestly, but that's like, you get the gist. And then this guy, I think his name is Bastion. His father, I think, think was killed by a bone crier. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if I really got a good feel for it from the first couple of chapters that I read though because it wasn't really about either of like these two people. Much to think about. I'm gonna read um, the first chapter of Kingdom of the Wicked tomorrow and then we will make our final decision on what my next read will be. Welcome to my backyard. It's looking a little sad because it's like the middle of winter, but it's also like 70 degrees outside right now. So anyway, I read the first chapter of Kingdom of the Wicked and I don't want to say I'm intrigued because I think I've said that about the first chapter of all of these books so far, but I am interested, shall we say, by the first chapter of this. It was kind of like a prologue and then I think the second chapter picks up 10 years after this one does. So this is following the main character whose name is Amelia and her twin. They are like eight years old in the prologue and they're talking to their grandmother who is talking to them about the princes of hell and how they should, you know, never go near a prince of hell. They shouldn't even speak of a prince of hell. From what I know about this book, that does not happen. Let's see what their grandmother has to say about the princes of hell because I'm so excited. <laughs> This says, whatever you do, you must never speak of the wicked. If you see them hide, once you've caught a demon prince's attention, he'll stop at nothing to claim you. They are midnight creatures born of darkness and moonlight, and they only seek to destroy. Guard your hearts. If given the chance, they'll rip them from your chests and guzzle your blood as it streams into the night. Rather graphic, <laughs> honestly. No matter that they were soulless creatures who belonged to the devil or they'd kill them on sight, the twins were enchanted by these dark and mysterious princes of hell. Yeah, I bet they were. <laughs> so, um, that sounds really fun. I know that like the love interest is a prince of hell so I'm very excited to see how that relationship develops throughout this book and I really oh I don't know I'm either gonna choose this one or Heartless because I also really enjoyed the first chapter of Heartless so I just don't know. Many decisions that will be made in the next 10 minutes and I'll let you know which one because I am also really excited about this one now I just don't know okay so I know I said in the last clip that I would make my decision in like 10 minutes but it's been like four days I guess it's not that long but still I did not 
it did not happen. So here's the book that I'm going to be continuing. Any guesses? Any guesses? Is Heartless. It was between this one and Kingdom of the Wicked for sure. I really liked the first bits of both of them, but just the concept of this one overall pulled me in a little bit more. Like I've never read an Alice in Wonderland retelling. So I just really want to see what this book is like. And I've just heard so many like good things about it. Not that I haven't heard good things about Kingdom of the Wicked, but this one is just intriguing me a little bit more right now. So this is the book that we're choosing and I'm excited. At the beginning of this video, I really thought I was going to choose Bone Crier's Moon solely because of the main character has to kill the person she's destined to love type thing that I was getting from the synopsis. And I'm sure that does happen and I'm sure it's good, but the first couple chapters just like weren't doing it for me. And honestly, Sorcery of Thorns never really stood a chance. Like it was good and I do want to continue it, but I just think this is better. Obviously, that's why I chose it. So yeah, that I guess is just the end of this video. I don't know how I feel about the overall format of this video just because I don't know if a chapter gives a book a fair shot, but also is it that deep? <laughs> You know, I just kind of want something that's gonna pull me in from the start. So I guess this was a good idea. I liked filming this video. I thought it was fun. So if you guys like the style or setup of this video too, please let me know down below. I'd love to know. Also, if you have any more YA fantasy recommendations for me, drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about them. So yeah, I guess that's the video. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.